Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover. I am Penj and welcome to Bee Simulator. So I feel it would be a little insulting to your intelligence if I were to tell you what this game is about because I think it's rather obvious really, isn't it? So instead, let's begin by having some fun facts about bees because why wouldn't we want to learn a few things about bees? So a typical bee colony pollinates 4,000 square meters of fruit trees. It makes an average of 14 kilograms of honey and it contains around 50,000 bees. That's just one bee colony. That's a lot of work for one solo single colony there. It's estimated that one third of all the food that we humans eat is dependent on pollination by bees, which I was amazed by. Now I knew they had quite an important role in all of that kind of stuff, but one third of all the food that we eat is absolutely dependent upon bees. So things like apples and melons and kiwis and broccoli and cucumbers, they're all pollinated by bees. Without bees, we would lose a huge variety of food. There are over 20,000 different species of bee and they can be found on every continent across the earth, except of course Antarctica where it's a little bit chilly. And a queen bee can live up to five years, but in contrast, a worker bee lives for a maximum of six weeks. So there we go, just some fun bee facts to start us off on this game, which weirdly enough, you might be surprised to find out, is all about bees. And this game was kindly gifted to us by a very, very long-standing friend of the channel, the always wonderful and stupendous Vosseros. Thank you so much, Vosseros. That is very kind of you indeed. So let's show some love to Vosseros down in the comment section, please. That would be very, very nice indeed. So we've had some nice bee facts. I think now, without any further ado, let's go and be a bee. Hive, sweet hive, I'm finally here. A wee called bee skit, because that will be completely amazing. Kind bee Alice, hello Alice. Oh, a new hatchling, hi little one. What's your name? Oh, okay, we can choose our name, okay. I mean, to be honest, I don't think we need to change our bee name, because we're called bee skit, which is just completely brilliant. Yes, yes, we'll absolutely accept that. I don't need to change that, because, you know, biscuit, bee skit, it's all brilliant. There we go. Okay, great. Well, first things first, let's teach you to fly like a bee. Okay, right, we're going to get the basics of, so, you know, back, forward, up, down, all that kind of stuff. Go on, let's get those wings moving. Okie doke. I'm sure we'll muddle through. Yep, absolutely. So, yes, move around, kind of go up and down and what have you. Wee, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. I I'm on it. I'm doing flying. Look, yes, go us. Lots of flying. Wow, that was something. Now, get to the construction room. Okay, whereabouts is the construction room? Look for the golden markers. They always show the way. Oh, thank you, kind bee, Alice. Oh, I like Alice. Okay, so golden markers are like waypoint things. Okie dokie. And here we are, and we are in our hive. Oh, and mighty glorious it looks too. Oh, this looks very nice. It's huge. It's massive from the inside. Look at that. That is very big. And there's a few little sort of bee friends around. Hi, bee friends. Oh, and look tiny little sort of baby bee larva type things in there oh that's nice okay right let's go and let's go and find the uh the marker thing so down we go and let's go that way then oh i think we've oh, we're on the floor okay right hang on hang on can we fly that seems quicker okay so we've come out of the hive i would say we're in a tree we're in a tree there's little kind of what are they Little kind of buzzy looking things. Little tiny sort of insect type things. Hello, little insect things. Yeah, I don't think we can go that way. I don't think that's going to be a good choice. And I don't think we can go that way. There looks like there's a lot of cobwebs there. That looks dangerous. Let's just sort of, let's go this way. Let's follow the light. Follow the light, bee skit. Kind to be as Hi, Alice. We have a special place where you can learn how to be a bee. Just fly through this crack. Okay. What crack are we talking about? Where's the golden light thing? There it is. Okay, so head on. I've attached the wall again. Hang on a minute. Hang on. There we go. Right, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to flying. Right, let's go through here. And we are outside somewhere. And it's very, very pretty. There's trees. There's little sort of leaves drifting by on the wind. This is very lovely. There's something down there. What's that? Oh, there's like a thing. It's like a lizardy thing. I might want to stay away from that in case it, you know, eats bees or whatever. I don't really know what eats bees, but that might. So let's stay away from it. Oh, and there's water and little flowers. Oh, I can hear frogs as well. That is very lovely. What's that? Am I supposed to follow? Am I supposed to go toward that thing? Find out. No, go toward the go toward the sky beams. There we go. Head toward the sky beams. There we go. Hello, sky beams. Okay, do we just keep going? Yes, it looks like we just keep following the golden sort of beam things around the place. Okay, let's head over this way then. This is very lovely. Oh, now we're in little sort of, sort of a tunnel type thing. Mushrooms and what have you. Oh, this is lovely. This is very pretty. Okay, so here we go. So on to this one. And 
Have we found Alice? There you go. Hi, Alice. All right. To be a real bee, you must learn to collect pollen. Yeah, that's you know, kind of important, I suppose. Right, you are. Collecting pollen. Fly through flowers with golden orbs to collect pollen. When the honey pot in the bottom left corner is full, you must deposit your pollen back at the hive. Okay. So I'm assuming the honey pot, the sort of the thing in the bottom left corner, is going to be the one with the flower thing in because you know, we're getting stuff from flowers. I don't know what the blue thing is. Okay, okay, that's fine. Collect 20 pollen from flowers. Okay, will do, will do. There are snails. Okay, that's brilliant. Hi, snail friends. How are you guys? Oh, I don't like the look of... Oh, crikey. No, don't go near that. Don't go near that. I don't like the look of that. That might, that might be another thing that eats bees. I don't know what that is. A cricket or something? I'm not sure. Let's just very carefully... <laughs> let's very carefully stay away from anything by eaters. There's a little beetle... Okay, so we just drive through the circle. Okay, okay, splendid, right. Well, there's another one, so we'll go there, and then we'll head toward this one. Okay, this is very lovely. And then through this one, um, oh, we can skirt across the, scooty across the water there. There we go, and go back across the water. There's some frogs. Hi, frogs. Hi, frog friends. Right, and into there, and there we go, up to that one. How many have we got? Seven out of 20. We might need to fly a little bit higher. Oh, no, hang on. No, we don't. No, we don't. There's one over here. Let's grab that. And there is... Ah! What's that? Is that... Do we need to stay away from that? Is that a rival hive? Because that's not our hive. Our hive's over there through a kind of hole and in a tree. I don't know, I don't know what that is. I might stay away from that. That might be a bad thing. Okay, so go back through... Go back through that one. That gets us up to 11. Okay, where else can we go? Let's... Should we fly up a bit? There we go. They look nice. We'll go through those. That's lovely. Oh, another one down there. Grab that one. There's some over here as well. We seem to have flower power, according to the left there. That's fun. Right, and flower power. Yes, flower power. Oh, we've got lots of flower power. I don't know what that means, but it's probably a good thing. Okay, hang on, and then let's go back down and grab that. Oh, I see. It's how many you sort of get in quick succession. So the more you get, you know, closer to each other, then yeah, you're going to get flower power from it, I think. Okay, now follow the gold marker and get a new task. Okay, so we've got our 20 bits of pollen. We're not full of pollen yet. We've not sort of maxed out on pollen. Do we need to max out on it a bit? Oh, I'm sure Alice will tell us. Alice, what's going on with the pollen? We haven't sort of filled it up. Uh, the world is filled with different flowers, which our vision sees in different colours. Okay. Right, what do we do with that then? Common flowers are white, uncommon are green, rare are yellow, Epic are red. Oh, crikey. Am I going to have to remember this? Or is someone going to tell me? And sometimes you can find a purple legendary flower. Now, can you find me four epic flowers? Epic were red? <laughs> were they Alice, were they red? Alice, can you help me? Bee vision. Oh, my goodness me. We've got, like, spidey senses, but not spidey senses. Okay, bee vision. Use bee vision to identify flower quality. White flowers are common. Green are uncommon. Yellow are rare. Red is epic. Wish after epic. For epic flowers. Yes, they were red. Splendid. I did remember something. Hooray. And purple are legendary. Activate B vision is button one. Oh. Oh, I see. Yes, we have a special fancy vision thing. Right. So if we fly toward those. Oh, and we're in sort of first person now. We're actually in first person as the bee. Oh, this is very exciting. Oh, and it's got the weird kind of view around the site. Okay, so that's red. It looks like this should be enough to get us over the line with that one. And then we go back into our regular sort of uh, third, third person. It's not really post, third B view. Okay, so come down. I'm sure Alice will tell us what's going on next. Hi, Alice. Great work, little sister. And now you're full of Beetro. <laughs> What's Beetro? You use Beetro as a power-up to fly faster. Try it out. You'll feel like a rocket. Okay, what could possibly go wrong with this? Beetro is your special B speed boost. The arrow indicator on the bottom left shows your Beetro energy. Fill it up by collecting pollen from several flowers of an identical type in a row, or by eating human sweets throughout the park. <laughs> well, that's nice. So we can either sort of top up our speed boost by just going and getting you know flowers of the same type, or just going and having a little sort of sugary snack. Okay, so shift is Beetro. Okay, so W and shift. That makes us fly very quickly. Can we stop? Yes, we can stop. Okay. Right, we just literally let go of the button and then we stop. Okay. Right, let's grab that then. Let's grab some more pollen while we're around. There we go. Grab a little bit more of this. This, I can see this being quite 
sort of relaxing and therapeutic. Unless we're being chased by, you know, angry killer death wasps. Then slightly less relaxing. But let's go and see what's next. What are we doing next then? Hello, Alice, what's going on? Wowzers, that was fast. Okay, one last thing. A proper bee knows how to deposit her collected pollen. Okay. Right, so we go back to the hive and then drop it off, I assume. Okay, crack on then. Yes, let's go. Go on, give it a try. Okay, if you help me, then yes, that might be quite nice. Deposit pollen into the hexagons. Okay, we're depositing it in this one, are we? Are we putting it into this one? It certainly looks like it. The golden sky beam thing is here. Um, okay. Deposit into the hexagon. Okay, do we just bash into it? Um, yes. We got ourselves some knowledge points. Go us. Okay, yeah, so you just sort of drive into, not drive, fly into the, fly into the thing, and then that's it. It's just, that's enough, is it? Okay, returning pollen. Oh, I think I was supposed to go through the sky beam first. Okay, you will automatically drop your pollen when you are close to the hexagon wall. You can't collect pollen while your honey pot is full. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Sort of crashed a bit there, but okay, never mind. Right, grab that and grab one of those and then get a new task from Alice. Okay, right, crikey. It's a bit of a hard taskmaster is Alice. Uh, is Alice. Can I just go and fly about for a bit? Fantastic, you're all set. Follow the tunnel to return to the hive. Okay, can, then can I go outside? I want to zoom about outside. It sounds fun. Let's just go and grab a few more things. Let's just go and grab that. Grab some pollen from there. Grab some from there. And then on the way out, let's grab that one as well. Okay. Okay. So let's sort of try and navigate our way around without crashing. <laughs> let's try and not smash our sort of, you know, delicate bee head into a wall or whatever. And then go back to... Where are we headed? Where's where was the way in? It was was it behind this tree? It was behind this tree, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was over here. Hang on, aren't we supposed to be following sky beams? Where are the hang on a minute, Alice? Alice, where are the sky beams? How do we get home again? There's the lizardy thing. So it must be over here somewhere. We came out here somewhere, didn't we? Are we over here? Um, oh, maybe I, have I missed a marker or something? Am I supposed to have gone through a marker to set the next marker? Hang on, let's just, let's get back to the hive. Oh no, it's telling us to go this way. Okay, is this a completely different way to get back in? Yeah, this was just where we were. Oh, oh, I thought we had to go back where we came from, but no, we've gone back in a sort of a different direction. Okay, that's fine. It probably all leads to the same place. I'm sure it's all fine. Okay, our next job is to meet with the queen. Oh, how exciting. I know all the basics. I'm ready to start on my new tasks. Oh, Beastkit, you're so adorable. First, I should visit mum. <laughs> I should visit mum. I mean, the queen. Yes, call her your majesty and all that kind of stuff. Um, Okay, I assume that's the queen. Is that the queen? That can't be the queen. She's surely got like a fancy throne or something. Well, Beastkit, you must be very eager to get to work. I am. I don't know what I should be doing. Collecting sort of your pollen and stuff. That's that's your job. There are many different jobs in the hive. Scouts, guards, nannies. But most of us are honeybees like me. Okay, yes. That's kind of what we've just been learning, Beeskit. How to go and get stuff from flowers. Wow. I get to choose my job. <laughs> of course you do. If you're not seeing Bee Movie. Oh, no, silly. The queen decides. You must go see her. Okay, right. So, golden markers once again. Whereabouts? Whereabouts is the queen? I assume the queen is the queen this way. It looks like, yeah, through here, through here. Where is the queen? Hi, mum. Mum, I'm coming to pay a visit. Wherever you might be. Oh, this is very fancy. Oh. Oh, look at this. This is amazing. That is, that's huge. Oh, hi, Beeskit. Hey, worker bee. Hey, nameless worker bee. <laughs> How are you? Right, fly through there. And there is, <gasps> there is... Your Highness, Mom, I shall, I shall curtsy, as would be appropriate. Hello there, Mum. You're right. <laughs> oh dear, I've kind of gone the wrong way. There we go. Come on, go in, Guardian Riley. Hold it. Don't move. Why, me, Mum? I suppose it's your Mum as well. Guardian B. Jesse, why do you approach our Queen? Hush, my guards. Yeah, Queen, you tell him how it is. Let my newest child, Beeskit, approach me. Hi, Mum. How are you? Looking good today. Very nice. Can I have a job, please? Can I have a job? Well, little one, you are a honeybee now. Ah, yes, of course. We're a honeybee. We get to go outside. Fly forth into the world. Collect pollen for the hive. Absolutely, I will do. Just show me the way to go outside. Yes, go outside the hive. Okay, do I go outside the hive from here? 
Door go outside the hive from somewhere else. No, it looks like sky beams are back this way. Ah, it's the other exit. It's the other exit from where we were. Yeah, I think there was two, there were two doors at the start, weren't there? Where it was, they were red. So yeah, we couldn't go through those. But here we go. Are we allowed out? Yes, we're out. We're going to go into the big, wide world and see what there is. There's going to be things and people and everything else. Oh, look, we're in a park in... I mean, I'm going to guess it's New York City. I'm going to assume it's New York City. It looks like it's a big city area. So, okay, we'll pretend we're in New York. That's absolutely fine. That's quite exciting. Okay, so we're just having a look around. There's like a dragonfly and a butterfly there. Oh, it's very pretty. It's very lovely. Okay, come on. I just want to fly about. Let us fly about. It's it's a lovely cutscene. Yeah, we're near a meadow. It's wonderful. I suppose we're just staring in amazement at the other stuff. We've not seen it before. Oh, there is a big kind of like a stag thing there. Maybe we're not in Central Park. I don't know. Oh, 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 no, that's bad. That can we move out of the way of the horrible big horde of flies? That doesn't look good. Oh, we're a little bit stunned. We've been beat up. We've only just come out. Whoa, talk about traffic. I need to be more careful. You were all right. It was the, it was the others. All right, let's gather some pollen. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so we've got to gather 25 bits of pollen. Oh, this is there's, there's so much. There's so much of it. Here we go. We'll just fly right. <laughs> this, is, this is brilliant. Right, okay, there we go. Bit there. And we'll just keep flying around. Flower power is completely spiralling. Okay, there we go. Oh, hang on. Can we can we fit through? Oh, we can fit through the gap. That's not just a border. We can just keep going through here. <gasps> this is brilliant. Okay, that's 23. I'm intrigued. What happens if we go near a person? What happens? I hope they're not going to kill us. I would like to think they're not going to kill us. Hey, people. How are you? Hi, I'm a bee. Hello. I'm going to get right up in your face. You're actually not bothered. You're not bothered by the bee that is right up in your face. Hi, friend. <laughs> wow. Okay, fine. You're not bothered. Gotcha. Message understood. Right, let's go over here. There we go. Now it's time to collect the rare flowers. Okay, so what do we want? So use bee vision. Gotcha. Um, and then collect four rare. Okay, so four yellow. Okay, so can we see any yellow using our mighty bee vision? We need to go up. We need to go up a little bit higher. I think. Can we go up a bit higher? There's birds and all sorts. Okay. Where are yellow flowers? Can't see any immediately. But yeah, there we go. We'll use some of our sort of boosty thing and just have a zoom about and see if we can find any. There's red. There's a red one down there. Plenty of ordinary flowers. Ah, is that is that yellow? Yes. There's one yellow. Okay, right. We've, we've got to start. We've got to start. One of the four required. Uh, okay. Okay, there's got to be some more around here. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, there's loads around here. There's loads of flowers on this bit. Right, so grab that. That will be two. And there's a third over there. I can see it. And then we just get one more after that. And then we're sorted for fancy flowers. Okay. However, we seem to have run out of fancy flowers. Where are the rest of the fancy flowers? Hello. <laughs> Hello, people that don't seem to be too bothered by bees. Um, Nothing over here. It's a bit bereft of, of flowers over there. Okay, right. Well, let's keep flying about. Let's head. Oh, no, there. There, there, there. We'll go down here. In fact, let's just fly toward it at speed. There we go. Super speedy. And boom. Okay. So what have we got? Oh, there is a bee over there. And she doesn't look too well. Oh, no. I should see if I can help her. Absolutely. Talk to the distressed bee. However, we will just pick up some pollen on the way. Because we might as well. So let's grab those. And then, yeah, where's the, where's the sad bee? In there somewhere. I didn't see the sad bee. Oh, there. Hello. Are you all right? Oh, Beeskit, you're adorable. Do you need help getting back to the hive? Uh, what? Sick bee jacket. Uh, what? I don't feel so good. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Everything is spinning. Oh, no. That's bad. You leave me alone. Oh, no, Jackie. I'm here to help, Jackie. Follow the other bee. Try not to miss the coloured rings. Watch out for obstacles and power-ups along the way. Oh, no, do I need some sort of skill? Do I need some sort of skill with this? Oh, this is uh, this is going to go terribly wrong. I don't even know where she's gone. Where's she gone? <laughs> oh, I see. Right, hang on. Go through the things. Okay, this is all good. This is all good. I think I might have missed out on a few sort of power-up things there, but never mind. Right, go through here. Go through here. So have I just got to keep up with her? Have I actually got to catch her? Have I just got to make it through this 
sort of little sort of uh, thing. Hang on. What do those things do? Can we can we use our speed up boost thing? Pick up some of those things. That's nice. Okay, so we go through the green hoops. I kind of need to get one of those things, I think. I don't know what they do. Oh, are they a speed up? They might be a speed up. Okay, grab that. My hive. Oh, no. Yeah, sick me. Jackie's all confused. She's all confused. Right, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Get that. Get that. Go through. Oh, crikey. Stay away from the spider web. Right, go into there. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Do we need to... Oh, this is very exciting. We're going through a tree trunk thing. Okay, right. So across to there. There's three speed up bits. Bosh, bosh. Bosh. What happens? How do we catch her? Are we supposed to actually catch her up? Or are we just supposed to... Are we supposed to go through this? I'm not entirely sure. But we seem to be getting further and further away from the hive as we go. Can we come back? Sick bee, Jackie, come back. You're flying very well for someone who's poorly. Oh, we're at a picnic. I wonder if we can get her something to eat over here. Something nice and sugary and delicious. Like an apple. A pear. Nope, not interested in those. Not bothered. Basket in there. What's in the basket? Sugary stuff. Sugary crumbs of goodness. <gasps> a wasp. Oh, no. The the enemy are here. Wasp every. Bzz, you no nosy little bee. Go away, horrible wasp. You will pay for disturbing my meal. Go away. Nobody likes you. You're rubbish. You're a terrible insect. Oh, yeah. We'll see. No, bee skit. Run away. When the indicator is in blue, block. When in red, attack. Um, how do we attack? Okay, hang on. When the indicator is in... Hang on, let's watch the little tutorial thing. When the indicator is in... There. Oh, hang on a minute. What do we do? How do we attack? Oh, attack is left. Okay, attack is left, mouse. And block is right. Okay, so when it's blue, we left click. When it's red, we right click. Okay. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong with this? Right, here we go. Let's have a fight. Fight. Okay, so click, click, click. Okay, never give up. You just jabbed me, you horrible wasp. Okay, right, hang on. Here we go again. Here we go. So, yeah, got it, got it, got it, and got it. Oh, there's, there's actual skill to this. I used to think it was just like an exploration game, but no, there's actual stuff that we need to do. Okay, right, click, click, click. Yeah, this is going well. Are we being completely beaten up? I think we're doing... I'm clicking the right buttons. Oh, no! I've clicked them the entire wrong way round. <laughs> I've been clicking them in reverse. I thought it said right click was for the red, but okay, never mind. Right, there we go. Right, there we go. That's much better. We can take out the wasp <laughs> if you do it right. Even says so at the bottom there. Right, left, left, and left. Okay, boom. And come on, come on. Last one. Last one to get right. So right click, left click, right click, left click. Okay, and bang. And one last hit on the evil wasp. And then just a, an extra hit for fun. Oh, crikey. <laughs> Biscuit takes no prisoners. Don't mess with Biscuit wasp face. Bye-bye, wasp. You rubbishy thing. Go on, clear off. You're lost. Ugh, that's it for me. But just you wait. Yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, next time I'll be even better because I'll actually get the mouse clicks the right way around. You have rescued a bee. Well done. Okay. Safe to come out. You can go home. Sick bee, Jackie. I, I remember now. I ate a piece of a rotten apple. Well, that was somewhat foolish, wasn't it? Poor life decision. It tasted really funny. Yeah, it was a rotten apple. Oh, I feel so sick. Oh, dear. Go home. Go home. Don't worry. They'll help you back in the hive. Absolutely. Just pootle off home, would you? We're a family after all. Oh, how lovely. Thank you, Biscuit. No worries at all. Sweets. Humans leave a lot of food lying around. And then there's fruit, too. You can gain beef, uh, beetro energy by munching on them. Find edible snacks using bee vision. To eat a snack, land on it using vertical steering Q and E. Okay, that's fine. Right, so which one of these can we actually tuck into? I imagine that one there is one that we're going to go and tuck into because it's sort of, you know, sparkling at us. It's sparkly. So I guess... Uh, oh, no, hang on. Nope, nope. Missed the entire thing. There we go. No, no, no. Hang on. Back. Where's the thing? There. So can we... Oh, crikey. Okay, hang on. Hang on. It's tricky. I'm not used to being a bee. I'm not used to being a bee yet. It's not my thing. Um, and down and on. There we go. So now we're having a little bit of a snack. Okay, lovely. So now our B, uh, sort of Beetro energy is full. And now we just get to fly about. Okay, return to the hive. Well, let's return to the hive stocked up on, on pollen. We might as well grab a load of stuff whilst we're here. Just fly about and, you know, top up. And then we'll um, head back to the hive. 
I think actually we might already be full by the look of it. Let's just get a bit of a chip on. Um, yeah, I think we're full. So, right, yeah, there we go. Straight back to the hive we go. Oh, hang on. This can't be a good sign. This cannot be a good sign at all. So, yeah, that is our tree. Our hive is inside this tree. However, outside the tree are three people, three pesky human beings wearing hard hats with a chainsaw. Oh, humans, they've never come this close before. Yeah, they're going to chop our tree down. What do they want with our tree? It's lovely. Okay, yes, we want to return to the hive. Follow its symbol on the compass. Got that. Yeah, that's that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. There's, there's bees. There's bees in here. There's bees. I know you've got so much pollen. That's fine. We'll do that. Hello. Hello. I'm a bee. Please don't chop the tree down. Please don't chop the tree down. Okay. They, they can't hear me or something. Okay. Let's go in. We'll probably have to talk to the Queen, I imagine, about this particular situation. Oh, okay. We've got a little cutscene and everything's going all over the place. All the bees are sort of panicking or what have you. Hush. Oh, okay. Right. You've angered the Queen. Calm down, everybody. Just chill out, all right? Just chill out. There we go. There we go. Nice and calm. Listen to Her Majesty, please. What does she have to say for herself? Humans are trying to destroy our tree. Yeah, I know. I just saw. They gave up for now, but they will be back soon to take away our home. Which is all very sad indeed. Oh no, and now they're all panicking again. <laughs> stop. Bees, stop panicking. Desist this panicking. We'll try and do something logical and try and sort it out. We're bees after all. Do not be afraid. From this day on, all of the scouts, but only them, are obligated to search for a new place for us to live. Ah, right, so we're going to move house. As the rest, get back to your duties. Okay, fine. So she's aware the tree's going to get cut down. We're going to go and find a new house. We're going to go and move home. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and I think we've completed part one of the story. Okay, right. So yes, it looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are eight parts to the story. Possibly a ninth part if a nice flower grows on the top there. Okay, yes, we've done We Are Family. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so we've gathered a massive load of knowledge points. Don't know what to do with those quite yet. I'm sure we'll get told what to do. And we now have ourselves a compass type thing at the top there. So that is a compass that's going to sort of, you know, point at things when we need it to. However, right now, let us drop off our lovely, lovely pollen. There we go. Right, some more knowledge points. Back to work. We still need more epic pollen for the winter. Ah, right, yes, that was a thing. But epic pollen is hard to find. Yeah, that's kind of, you know, that's why it's epic, because it's tricky to get hold of. Okay, is that it? Go to the library. What? As in outside or inside? As in as in we have a library inside for the bees, or you mean the library outside in the real world? Okay, it's like a bee library. It's like a little sort of bee knowledge repository. So this is where all of our feats and sort of achievements and things that we've done go. So if we go over here... Just sort of scoot around this way. There we go. We can see that that's the first sort of mission that we completed. We sort of saved the bee that was outside that was feeling a bit ill. And then we fought off the wasp and, you know, made sure they were okay. And now it's asking us to look up here. Okay, so what do we do here then? Hello. Yes, there are many places with good pollen. Okay, so that's what we need to do then. I should go outside and check them out. Well, yeah, you're a bee. You're a bee. You're a honeybee. That's what you're supposed to go and do. Go and get pollen. Right, fly outside. I'm absolutely all over it. Old B. Jamie. Oh, hi, old B. Jamie. Hey, B. Skit, I saw you in the library. Come, let me tell you something. Okay, old B. Jamie, what have you got to say? Let's go and find out what you're going to talk about. You're an old learned bee. You were looking for epic pollen, right? Absolutely, yeah. I need to get some for the winter. You should try the zoo. Ah, okay, the zoo. There's a nice lady there with amazing flowers. Oh, so we're going to go find a person and she's got like cut flowers. I will dance to show you how to get there. Okay, right, okay. Repeat correctly all your dance partner's moves. Up, down, left, right. Okay. <laughs> right, we have to do a little dance. Okay, this is this is good. Okay, so what's that? That's right. Oh, oh, okay, we have to do it. Oh, right, I see, I see. Right, okay. Oh, hang on a minute. That was right and then up. Okay, and then right. Okay, right, no, I'm, I'm with you on this. Right, okay, right, up and left. There we go. How is this going to help me? <laughs> I don't know. Right, okay. This is this is fairly simple. Right, up, left, and down. Okay, nice and straightforward. There we go, old B. Jamie. Got it. I'll head to the zoo right away. Now, yeah, I wonder if that's that's what they call the waggle dance. Old B. Jamie, may the pollen be with you. Okay, challenges and knowledge points by completing challenges. Their markers are coloured by type. Blue is a race. Oh, there's like little mini games in it. Okay, okay. So blue is a race. Pink is a dance. Red is a fight. Orange is sting the bully <laughs> okay and green is gathering pollen okay 
Okay, fine. Right. I mean, yeah, I don't mind doing some of those. That could be quite fun. Uh, there we go. Yeah, bees have a thing called... I, I didn't really know about this until I just sort of read up on the bee facts. They have a thing called the waggle dance, which is where they sort of do a funny little dance to try and, you know, help their sort of uh, fellow bees out. Um, so, yeah, maybe that's what we just did. We might have just done the waggle dance, which is also a very nice beer. Um, right. Okay, so what is what was pink again? What was pink? Oh, I don't know. Let's find out what pink was. Yay, the dance challenge. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's go for a dance challenge. Let's do some challenges. What are you waiting for? You are full of pollen. You can return it to the hive. Okay, I know, but there is a glorious flower nearby. Yeah, but you're full of pollen. You can't take it. You, you're all pollened out. Can you collect the pollen from it? Okay, aren't we supposed to be dancing? Okay, I'll do that for you. I thought we were having a dance off. Where's the dancing? Okay, this should be fine. This should be fine. Down. Okay, that's that's dead easy. That's so easy. Down. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. This. <laughs> I'm all right with this. Down. Right. Left. Okay. Down. Right. And left. There we go. Aren't we brilliant? Yay! Go dancing. Now you know the way. Good luck. Okay. Right. So they've helped us go toward a super flower. However, there are some lovely uh, sort of uh, berry type things here. So can I land on them and top up my? Yes. I'm going to top up my beetro using some lovely fruit. Okay, and now we need to find where the super flower is. Uh, yeah, get the super flower. Uh, okay, I assume it's where that target thing is pointing. Okay, I mean, it does look very exciting. It's a very beautiful flower. Right, let's go in and get that then. We've unlocked beautiful flower in the glossary and we've done a dance thing. And we got a massive stack of knowledge points. Oh, okay, that's very, very good. Yeah, now we're just back to sort of, you know, go to the zoo again. Oh, I like this. This is very good. So you can just go and do what you want, but there's all these little sort of extra challenge things that are sort of thrown in as well. So if you want something a little bit different, you can go and do some of the challenges. Oh, that's very lovely. Okay, so we've made it to the zoo and it's like a sort of little city zoo. It's very lovely. So there's chickens and rabbits and goats and things. It's all very nice. And we followed the markers and then the markers got to a point where it said, okay, find the lady with her kind of basket of flowers. So now we need to just have a little poodle about and see if we can find her. Is it you? Is it you? You've got something in your hand. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we want that. We want that. And boom. Oh my goodness me. That was some sort of super pollen. Oh yes, <laughs> that is good pollen. Okay. But now we need more than that. Okay. Hmm. There are other bees around. Okay. Maybe we could ask those bees for assistance. Maybe they can point me in the right direction. Okay. I mean, yeah, where where are the other bees then? Let's go and find another bee to have a chat to. I can't remember what the green challenge was. Shall we have a go at the green challenge? I can't remember. What was it? The collect challenge. Yeah, why not? Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Collect four common pollen. Oh, crack it. Okay, this should be nice and easy because that's just the plain stuff, isn't it? So yeah, one bit there, one bit there. In fact, then we get both the other bits. One there and boom. There we go. Sorted. Did it. Talk with fast bee Jordan. Okay, <laughs> was that it? Was that that? We used our bee vision and just did it really easily. Okay, okay, fine. There we go. Uh, right, where where are we going? We're going over this way. Ah, there we go. Right, toward the big kind of big shiny sort of sky beam thing. I'm tempted. What was the red? Was the red a fight? Let's go. Why don't we just do this as well? Would you like to take the fight? Check? Why not? Let's go and do some challenges whilst we're here. Right, another annoying wasp. Hey, you, this zoo now belongs to the wasp clan. Never, never. We shall never back down. No way. We'll never allow you to claim the zoo. Yeah, horrible, stingy, picnic-ruining monsters. Buzz, this means war, B. Yeah, well, now I know that the actual controls are, you know, I know what they are. I might be able to actually beat you with this one now. So, um, yeah, here we go. So, right, left, <laughs> right, left. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Jibbity jabbity at the bee. Uh, the wasp, not at the bee. Although he can come and get us, I suppose, yeah. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Beautiful. We've got a kind of big zigzaggy lightning thing, which I'm not entirely sure what that does, but okay. There we go. Another bash onto the wasp. And the next one, I think, should finish it off. One, one, right and right. That is some good attacking of the wasp there. Oh no, he's got four hit points left or whatever they are. Okay, so shield, shield, hit, hit. Sorted. Absolutely fine. And bosh. There we go. Clear off wasp face. The zoo will never be yours. We will fight you by the trees and we will win. There we go. Right. Wasp flies away. Absolutely defeated. Oh, no. He's come back. Oh. Oh, hang on. There's a, Oh, there's two wasps. We have to fight two of them. Okay. Okay. Right. I didn't know that. Right. Hit, hit and hit. Perfect. And we've got an extra 25 health from that then. So there we go. And there we go. 
So yeah, some of the little sort of bars you have to get are thinner than the others, but it's still fine. So click and click. And yeah, this, this is a doddle. This is an absolute doddle. He's going to go down. He's going to go down very easily. We've got lightning in this one. I don't know what that does, but we've got lightning to use. Okay. This has got to be the last one, surely. So shield, get, and hit, and hit. There we go. Right. So bang. Away with you, pesky wasps. That'll teach her. That'll teach her to ruin my picnic and make me flap my hands around in front of my face while going, oh, the wasp. There we go. Away with you both. Buzz, you win this time, but it means nothing. The wasps will rule. And there we go. And we acquire some more knowledge points. I mean, it'd be nice to know what we did with the knowledge points because we have quite a lot of them. We've got a massive big pile of them. But uh, but right, okay, let's actually get back on track and you know go and talk to who we're supposed to be talking to. Okay, there's another bee and we're saying, hey, do you know any rare flowers around here? Sure, want to race? If you can catch me, I'll tell you about the flowers. Okay, I have to catch you. Rather than just go through the thing. So catch the other bee, try to miss the colour rings, watch out for obstacles and power-ups along the way. Okay, so I can use my Beetro in this, can I? Can I? Or not? I'm not sure. Um, well, I kind of feel like we have to do this because this is part of the story. So, okay, right. Let's go and have ourselves a little race then. So, right. Oh, no, you've gone already. I, I wasn't really paying attention there. You, were, uh, Hang on a minute. Hang on. wasn't paying attention. Oh, crikey's. Ah, uh, okay, right, okay, this is, <laughs> okay, this is, this is like sort of, you know, going through the, the tunnely bits on the Death Star. Right, there we go, we're back, we're back here, so I don't think we can use our Beetro, I don't think it lets us do that. Is that how far away the other bee is? 200 and whatever it is centimetres, okay, that's fine, that's fine, we can catch it up, we'll get those two beast boost things. Beautiful, stay away from the water, that's probably a bad thing. Right, try and take a shortcut round that way, and there... Can we use beast? Yeah, we can. We can use the. Oh yeah, we can use the speed up thing. Okay, that's fine. Right, we'll speed up. Whoa! Well, there's, there's, we've gone past like a, a seal or something. Okay, that's fine. Right, top up, top that up. Very nice. Yeah, we've got to got to use the beast, the the boost. I think. But yeah, we've burnt through the boost already. Right, hang on. Get the boost. Get the boost. Get the boost. Double boost. Okay. Just use the boost all the time. Right, we're catching up. We were catching up, and now we're not catching up. We're going back into this tunnely bit. Oh, crikey's. Okay, right. Tunnely bit. Oh, you caught her. Yay. Okay, yay. There you go. Good race, Beast Kit. You got me. There are actually epic flowers in the tropic zone. Okay, right. Where is that then? Are we going to do a little dance? Uh, good luck. And listen, there are many fast bees around the park. Okay, you're quite quick. If you're up for a challenge, they'll be happy to race you. Yeah, I know. Kind of got that. Okay, right. The tropic zone, uh, which is... Oh, it's inside. Okay, we've got to go indoors, have we, and explore the sort of inside world of the humans. Oh, this is... Oh, look, it's just so very nice. Oh, look, there's like lizardy things on the wall and all sorts. Okay, so in here somewhere is the flower that we are looking for. What an amazing place. It is quite amazing, isn't it? It's very exciting. And I can already smell the flowers. There's a parrot. There's a parrot. Okay, so five epic pollen. So five red. Okay. Okay, this is all fine. So, get that. That's on a cactus. Got to be a little bit careful with that one. <laughs> that could go horribly wrong. Right, and there's one just there to grab that. And looks like there's one over in there. That's another That's another cactus one. So, be careful going past that. Don't want to get jibbity-jabbity spiked. There's one down here. And then we need one more red. One more red. There you go. I can see it. Oh, there's one down there. There's, in fact, do you know what? There's one under here. We'll just go and get this one because that looks nice and straightforward. So, boom, through we go. Okay, knowledge points. And there you go. Spend points to unlock animal statues, 3D models, and new skins for our bee. Skins for a bee. Okay. I I'm intrigued. I would like to know what skins we can have for a bee. Oh, no. What's happened to the tree? The humans have cut off its branches. Oh, no. Oh no, the humans have started work on demolishing the tree. But have they cut off its branches? It looks like there's a lot of branches still attached. Uh, oh no, a few have gone. A few have gone. Right, okay, okay. Oh no, the humans are attacking our home. Okay, so job number one, drop off the stuff. There we go, so that's all in. We get some more knowledge points. And that should put us, are we just over a thousand? Yes, we're over a thousand. And now we need to go and visit the trophy room. Okay, that's presumably through here. Okay, there's things we can buy with our knowledge points. So let's fly into this sort of sky beam here. What have we got here? The Western Honeybee. Check the archive. Unlock for zero knowledge points. Um, okay. 
I mean, yeah, do we want to do we want to do that? Do we want to just unlock it? Do you want to buy this? Yes, because it's completely free. Oh, hang on. No, and yes. So what does that mean? That means we have a 3D viewer of that particular thing. Oh, we can have 3D. Oh, I see. You look at the 3D renders and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Right. Okay. So we get ourselves a sort of a bit of information about a certain thing. And then, yeah, then we can look at it in 3D if we want to. And we've completed our second mission there. Okay. Well, I guess it's back to work then. I guess we get a load more knowledge points. Hang on. Not yet. Not yet. What are all these things? Housefly. Do I really want to unlock information about a, a mangy housefly? <laughs> Not really. Where are the skins? Common wasp. I, I want to unlock lovely skins and amazing things. And you know, can I upgrade my wings or whatever? Uh, you know, can I upgrade my legs? I have greater pollen carrying capacity. Um, do you know what? The wasp is our enemy. So yeah, let's unlock that. Yes, we'll unlock that. Because the wasp we might need to know about. It's a bit, it's a bit scary. Okay, there you go. Right, so we get a little bit of information about them. And then, yeah, the 3D render thing is is there looking a little bit scary. I mean, we might as well just do this one as well. We might as well just go, yeah, okay, unlock that as well. So, yeah, it's just a kind of horrible kind of housefly thing. Yay and woo, there it is. <laughs> Lovely. I shall come back and treasure that thing for all time. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, our next job is just to collect as much pollen as we can carry. That is all we've got to do. Because, yes, apparently the end of summer is coming, which is bad. Because, of course, no summer equals no flowers, no pollen, and then we're in a bit of a pickle. So, right, the job is just go and get loads of pollen. Absolutely fine. There is something quite relaxing about just, you know, gently flying around the place, just collecting all of the pollen. It's actually, it's really nice. It's a very nice sort of calming thing. And there we go. There we go. We've maxed out on all the pollen we can hold. And now we need to go and put it back in the hive. So here we are. Let's drop it off. There we go. Add to our stock. That's a lot of pollen I've collected. Wow. Okay, right. Good work. Yes, but we still need more. Says worker bee Babby. Hi, Babby. More. Wow, my wings will fall off. That bee skit, this is your life. That's all you do. That's all you do, bee skit. You just collect pollen. That, that is your single and sole job. So now we've got to do something a little bit different. Now it's not a case of just collecting any old pollen. We've got to collect 25 uncommon pollen, which are the green ones when we use our sort of magic bee vision thing. But that still looks fine. It still looks like there's quite a lot of them sort of lying around. So again, this shouldn't be too much of a bother. Okay, all the green flower pollen has been collected, so let us drop that back off. So much pollen. Oh, my poor wings. I suspect we might have to go and get some more. Don't worry about your wings. Just go and get more pollen. Okay, okay. I see a pattern forming here. Even more. Oh, well. Right, what are we going to do now? New skin fold. <gasps> completing selected quests and tasks will let you change your appearance. You can also buy some new skins for knowledge points. I would like to do that. I would like to do that. Can we get ourselves some new skins? It doesn't look like it. It does not look like it at all. Nothing in the sort of uh, trophy room thing is lit up, unfortunately. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Maybe we need to go and get this last extra sort of big, you know, deposit of pollen sorted. Uh-oh. Oh no, what's that? There's, there's a hornet. Harry the hornet. Well, well, what do we have here? Oh no. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Worker bee babby. Eek a hornet! We're doomed! Hang on, don't we have defences? That's right, little bee, you are doomed. I will crush all of you. Your honey will be mine! Mwahaha! <laughs> if it had a moustache, it would twiddle it at that point, I believe. Don't we have kind of, you know, fighter bees? Don't we have bees that are going to come and fight this thing off? Worker bee babby. Eek! <laughs> ba babby, you must warn our queen. I will hold him off for as long as I can. Ah, oh, well done. Biscuit, you are brave and noble. You wish to fight me? <laughs> See, it told you, twiddly moustache, if it could have a moustache, which it can't because it's a hornet. Okay, prepare to fight. Okay, let's have a fight with a terrifying looking hornet that's very, very strong. Oh, crikey. Wow. Okay, that was quite tricky. That was, <laughs> that was quite tricky to do. That's actually quite a difficult series of things right there. Left and right, it's all complicated. Right, here we go, here we go. We can do this, we can do this. It's going to be absolutely fine. So right, 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 left, left, left. Beautiful, perfect. Okay, we've got this. If we just, you know, if we concentrate, we'll be fine. We shall defeat the evil hornet monster. Let's come in, right. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, splendid. That was just one big solid hit there. Okay, so left, uh, right, left, left, right. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. It went all horribly wrong. <laughs> it went all sorts of wonkaloids. Yeah, he's hit us a couple of times. Ouch. And we got one defense in. Okay, we're still looking good. We're still looking good. Right, that, that, that. Left, 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 right, right. Oh, my goodness me. That's that's quite quick. If you get one wrong, 
That's it. You're then sort of all over the shop. That's quite tricky. Okay. The lightning bolt is kind of flashing. I imagine next time we've got just special attack or something. Is that what it is? Yeah. Do that. Do that. And do that. It must just be a special sort of one hit that we get and he doesn't get one. Okay. That's fine. Right. So left, 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 right, right, left, right, right. Yes. Perfect. Take that. Yeah? Don't come in here and mess with me. My name's Beeskit, and I'm going to absolutely destroy all you guys. <laughs> That's it. Fly off, fly off, why don't you? I'm a little bit disappointed that we haven't got any other defense. Okay. He says, you think you've beaten me, dude? I'm just getting started. Let's try that again. No, because I've just beaten you. Why must we try it again? Where are my defense bees? Um, There they are. There they are. Right, hello there, defense bees. Come in and save us, please, because this thing's quite big and completely terrifying. Yep, hi. You shall not pass! <laughs> okay. <laughs> very good, very good. Silly little bee, you cannot stop me. I don't like your mandibly kind of things there. They're a bit sinister. Yeah, you can't stop her, so clear off. What is this? Get out, get out, get out. This is the defense squad. Bees assemble. There we go. Eat him. Yes, look at that. Look at that. And away he goes. Oh, oh, I thought we might have killed him possibly, but no. This is not over. I'll be back. Oh no, we've made an enemy. We've made an enemy in Harry the Hornet. Dear. Well done, my child. Oh, thanks, Mum. That's all right. You know, anyone would have done the same. Anyone would have done the same. Your courage gave us time to assemble the troops. I mean, surely the troops should be by the door, you would have thought. But okay, fine. Maybe you, know, you need some, you know, some planning going on. To beat a hornet alone is hard, but together we can always triumph. Absolutely. How inspirational you are, my uh, queen. I was going to say my highness, but no, your highness or, or mum, possibly. And we've completed our third mission sort of thingamabob. We've completed Winter is Coming. Splendid. And you know what? With our glorious victory over the Hornets, now surely the stuff of legend around the hive. Surely we've made a name for ourselves a little bit there. With that now all done, I think we will finish up with Bee Simulator for now. But this has been a very enjoyable game to play. It's just been a really fun sort of wholesome, lovely game about going out and you know, grabbing some pollen from flowers and then occasionally you, know, you have to grab certain pollen, having a little explore, looking around at the great big world and I'm pretty sure that we've not really seen much of the outside world. We've seen a bit of the sort of the park area and we've seen the zoo and that's kind of about it. I imagine out there it is very, very big and vast indeed. But yeah, it's just a very enjoyable, very fun game. I wasn't really expecting there to be a story. I wasn't really expecting there to be a sort of plot type thing. I just thought it would be go out and collect stuff and bring it back and you'll get points for it and what have you. But no, there's like a little story going on. The tree's going to get cut down and where are we going to move to and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's been it's been surprisingly enjoyable. More than I thought it was going to be, if I'm completely honest. But there we go. There we go. We'll finish up for now. We will imagine... We'll imagine that Beeskit does some more amazing, wonderful things and, you know, proves herself around the hive a little bit more and goes and does more amazing things and that we survive. Maybe our sort of our, all of our, you know, bee friends and everything else all sort of, you know, move to a new house and it's all sorts of wonderful and splendid because, yeah, I quite like Beeskit. I like you, Beeskit. You've been very, very brave and very, very adorable indeed. But yes, we shall imagine that you go on to do even more wonderful and brave and impressive things. But we shall indeed finish up for the moment. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. I've had a lot of fun playing this, so hopefully you have enjoyed watching. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other stuff that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, it, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.